All right, guys, in today's video, we are walking through how one of our students, this is one of my favorite stories, his name is Zach, how he was able to negotiate a seven-figure comp package uh, coming out of coding boot camp. So for those of you who are new, my name is Katie. I'm a coach here with Career Sprout, where on average, it takes us about 63 days to grow somebody's salary by about $37,000. Now, Zach uh, blew that number out of the water, obviously. So what I want to talk through are a few things. Where Zach was before he landed this job and how he was able to negotiate such a large uh, compensation package. So let's dive in. First and foremost, Zach was a band manager before he decided he wanted to get into tech, before he decided he wanted to be a software developer. So he was working as a band manager and he got really curious about coding, really curious about tech. So he actually joined General Assembly's coding bootcamp and he got all the skills, he developed, um, he learned the skills and he developed them. He was very hungry, he was very uh, humble, he was very happy about the path that he was, he was choosing. And then what he did was very simple as most you know new developers do, he made a mock website, right? To showcase his skills. Then he went through the different steps that we talk about in all of our videos. And what he did was he actually landed a job or he landed an offer from a very small, at the time, very small startup who was willing to give him a fairly low base salary. He was in the you know average uh, developer salary range around six figures, but what he was able to do, and this is something that we ask all of our students to do during the negotiation process, was, or almost all of our students, I should say, it doesn't work for everybody, but almost always you should negotiate equity in your comp package. So Zach was very intelligent, first and foremost, again, very hungry, very humble. And so he went into this company with a really big desire to step in, add value, and be compensated for that value, not just in cash, but in equity. So what he did was he landed, he specifically went into a startup, he landed a job at Ripple, and he was able to negotiate equity, and he got paid in cryptocurrency. Now, some of you are gonna hear that and say, oh, okay, well, yeah, it does good sometimes, it doesn't do good other times, that's okay. Here's the key thing. Zach was very young. Zach was able to take on those added risks, but he still had a base salary where if that was all he got, he was still he still knew that he could provide for his family. He still knew that or his future family at the time. And that's really the key. When you're negotiating your salary or when you're looking at the job opportunities, it's very important for you to look at the opportunity costs. Oftentimes people get extremely nervous about moving to a new job or moving, transitioning, whatever the case may be, because they're afraid of you know what might happen, but they never look at the opportunity cost of what they are 100% losing by staying with the company that they're at. And there's about seven different things that people tend to miss when they're negotiating their equity. And we've talked through them before. Um, I can, I'll, I'll link a video below this maybe, or just, send you to um, our free workshop that goes a little bit more in depth to this. But when you're negotiating your salary, you wanna make sure you're not only looking at the base salary. That's typically where companies have the least amount of wiggle room. So you wanna look at different things like stock options, uh, paid time off, um, changing your title so that it's a title that's going to help you advance or get to the next uh, rung in your career ladder, uh, sign on bonuses, um, performance bonuses. There's a lot of different things that you can ask for that aren't just base salary where companies tend to be the most restrictive. And by doing that, especially if you're in tech, especially if you're you know, an engineer or you are a product manager, you can get massive comp packages just by knowing what to negotiate, how to negotiate, and when to ask for these things. So a really big takeaway here is just remembering it's not just about your base salary, it's about finding those other things that are important for you so that you can find those win-wins between, so that you're winning and the new company that you're going to is also winning. So hopefully that helps a few of you and um, feel free to send any questions that you have uh, to info at careersprout.com and I hope you guys are having a good one.